Today on Trisha, CJ and Asia have a rocky past. You are not oh, you are just your young men your pictures on Facebook. And they could have a baby together. This little boy could be yours. It might be. He. It might be. Asia is engaged to Norrance. When it comes to CJ, I don't want him in our lives. Even if he is the baby's father. You trying to sit on here and lie, you feel me? Oh, oh, you you me? Let's go, Brandon. No. No. Sit down. Sit down. To find out who the father of my son Nasai is. CJ's on again, off again girlfriend is here, and she thinks CJ is still seeing Asia behind her back. I didn't come all the way to Connecticut. Thank you, Jerry. Camera and be embarrassed. DNA and a lie detector will reveal the truth. Since you and Cherie have been back together, have you had sexual intercourse with Asia? When it comes to the baby, oh. Walter won't touch, speak to, or look at Jennifer. We sleep in separate beds. We're like strangers. You don't hold me. I need that affection. But they're engaged to be married. What's fueling his strange behavior? I don't want to touch nothing that somebody else doesn't touch. So you don't touch her at all? No. During the argument, Jennifer told me she was cheating, but tried to take it back later. Did his accusations lead to tragedy? I lost my child yeah, because of the stress. With that? Will the lie detector lead him down the aisle or out the door? Have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Now, this him? is the key, and you better get this proven. There's an admission. Oh. You were still having no, sex. No, I was not. Oh, no, Lord. I do not have sex. <laughs> it's all today on Trisha. This is Asia and her fiance, Lawrence. Now, Asia gave birth to a baby boy just two weeks ago. Aww. Now, Lawrence cut the cord, named him Naziah, is that right? You signed his birth certificate too. Now, what should be a happy time in this young couple's life is quickly turning disastrous. You see, Asia is here praying Lawrence is her baby's father. But she admits she was also involved with this man, CJ. That's CJ. It's anyone's guess as to which man is Naziah's daddy. So let's listen to their story. I need to find out who the father of my son Naziah is. I hope and pray it's not my ex-boyfriend, CJ. I want it to be my fiancé, Norris. I really need to know if Naziah is my son or if CJ is the father. Because I love Asia and I love that little boy. CJ constantly denied my son Nasiah because he wanted to get back with his ex-girlfriend, Cherie. When I first started dating CJ, I thought him and Cherie were over. But later down the line, I found out they were still talking. Cherie, you can have his tired butt. CJ had the nerve to steal from my roommate and steal my rent money. And because of that, I was kicked out of my home. CJ left me to fend for myself. What kind of real man does that? If it wasn't for my fiance, Norris, I would be homeless and pregnant out on the street with my son. Even though I'm financially struggling, I make sure Asia and the baby have everything that they need. When it comes to CJ, I don't want him in our lives. Even if he is the baby's father, he's the worst thing that ever happened to him. Lawrence is a real man that CJ could never be. He even named my son. If CJ is the father, he has to do the right thing before I ever trust him again. I think CJ is childish, immature, and needs to grow up. But I want to thank him for keeping the bed warm for a real man. Okay, uh, everyone needs to know that uh, CJ's current girlfriend, Sherry, is uh, here in the audience anxiously waiting to find out if CJ fathered Asia's child behind her back. But first, what's your current relationship with Norrance? You, you two, are you engaged or...? Yes, we're engaged and we're going to be getting married. Okay, so you were there at the birth, the pregnancy, everything? I was there for the, before the pregnancy, after the pregnancy, during the pregnancy. I mean, I've just been there. You love that little boy? I love him to death. So if you were there before the pregnancy, how come there's a question mark over CJ? I didn't know who CJ was. I knew his name, but I didn't know who he was. So whatever they had before me or whatever, I had no idea. Before him or during him? Because Asia was calling his phone, talking to him, trying to be with him still. If you said y'all was together during your pregnancy, Asia, don't look stupid. Because said, I even called all, you during your You're pregnancy. irrelevant to the situation. I don't even no, know why you No, how am I irrelevant, Asia? Why don't sit there and do that. Because we don't have a lot of Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't sit there. Yeah, pick your eyes up, Natalia, because I don't see your eyes in the air with me and CJ. Wait, 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 wait
Oh, be quiet. Just, just a minute. Just sit there like a little puppet like you are. Hey, anybody could be your baby. Don't sit there and do that. Don't sit there and do that. Don't talk about nothing irrelevant. Hey, 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 Sherry. So how long have you been going out with CJ then? On and off for about two years. Is it on or is it off at the moment? Me and CJ, are, we're, we're working something out. <laughs> <laughs> so, working all right, so I'll come yeah. back to you. So what was your relationship yeah, with, with CJ? Me and CJ were together, yes we were. For how long? And, um, a couple months. Okay. I didn't know that she was dating CJ. I knew of a Cherie, but I didn't know that she was the Cherie. I'm confused. Were you with Norrance at the time or not? No. Why is there doubt then between Norrance and CJ being the dad if you weren't with them around the same time? Me and CJ were dating. Right. He's, he was staying with me. Right. At the time, he was flip-flopping between me and her, calling her behind my back while I'm at work. Right. He was playing both sides of the story like he always do. He's a habitual liar and he cannot tell the truth. But then so were you life. if there's a question mark over Norrance being the dad? Yes, it is. Do you know this, Lawrence, or are you just discovering this now? Welcome to the show. All right, truth okay. be told, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, truth be told, I was there for Asia as much as I could be. Yeah. There were times when I wasn't there. And that's and when CJ was I, there. I guess, but as far as them being together, I have no, I have no you're, 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 that. you're discovering things with me. Yes. So is CJ involved in this baby's life at all? No. Not at all? No. So you're hoping that Norrance is the dad? Mm -hmm. I have okay. something to say about that because CJ has called Asia while I was around. Oh. And he asked Asia, Asia, how come I haven't seen my baby? Asia, um... Oh, hang on, um, CJ I'm thinks it is his baby? baby? Yes, Asia called... CJ talked to Asia the CJ other day. The immature the ass little boy. He will not be around September, my son. We were at my on. mother's oh, house. And until CJ, had, CJ called her and asked her, and asked her could he watch the baby because she said she had something to do. And she said CJ can have the baby for the weekend. So let me get this I right. I never told CJ he can see my son. That is I a lie. I didn't see him and lie because you were going to phone with him and his mama. He had you on freeway and he had you on freeway. And my mama's house. My mama's house. Do you think CJ is still seeing Asia behind you? He better not be seeing Asia because according to Asia, she had nothing to do with with CJ and CJ said he had nothing to do with Asia. Well, we all seem to be talking about the man, so let's meet him and find out for ourselves. CJ, yeah, come on out. <laughs> And work out things by talking. So, you trying to sit on here and lie, you feel me? Yeah, you ain't lying about Momo. 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 What's been going on, and if this little boy is yours, if he is yours, I would like for you to think what kind of example you I'm are sorry, setting a young man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Now, Cherie was saying that you seem to believe that they, this little boy could be yours. It might be. He. It he. might be. He. It's a lot. It's a son. My son ain't no damn it. He, it's he, it he might be. He might be. But she ain't no good So mama. hang on. Why, were you in a relationship with her? No. Well, Never. I, I thought you were living oh, with her. No, I was just there. I stayed around the corner. I was just there at night. So why were you in the room? Because that was easy. That was easy. Hey, 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 hey. Every time I heard your name, it was a brother. Bro, listen, that's what she told your dumb ass. That's what she told your dumb ass. How that look? You stay in your place. All right. A straight yeah. idiot on yeah. Washington, All right. bro. So, why do you say? You hey, yourself, hey, look, brother. hey. So she told you that Lawrence was her brother. Yes. Oh, so you. So were, I'm, I'm chilling hey. with her brother. Yeah. Here's her. Here's her hang on. Hang on. Just a minute. Here's how conversations. No, like how conversations no. go. One person speaks. The other person yeah. listens. Not hard. Let's try. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. So. She told you that Norrance was her brother. Mm -hmm. You're saying you didn't have a relationship with no. her. It was just for the sex. So, Cherie, 
Um, Asia is not the only girl that you think CJ's been seeing. Is that true? You think he's been seeing other women? I don't think... I know he talks to other girls on Facebook, but he... Like, what kind of things are we talking about? Like, I know, like, he was getting money from Asia. I guess he was getting money from other people. And Hold I want to find out if that's true. Well, what do you mean, getting money? You get money from women? Get it all, man. Why? But, but you a pimp, though, right? Why would, why would a woman you give you though, money? Yeah, kid, man. Come on, man. No, I'm interested in this. Why Never would a woman... Like you, bro. Why, hang on, why did... Don't, don't give him all the looks like this. Why, why would women give you money? Can't love me. <laughs> CJ took a lie detector test to prove to Cherie you're not lying about what exactly? Oh, that I'm not messing with that over there no more. Right. Now, as you know, both men took a DNA test and CJ agreed to take a lie detector test as well. We will reveal those results when we come back from the break. <laughs> Thank you. Next. The way that CJ has been behaving right now, you, you proud of that? No, I didn't come all the way to Connecticut. Thank you, Sherry. Being on camera and being buried. Later, Walter won't touch, speak to, or look at Jennifer. We sleep in separate beds. We're like strangers. You don't hold me. I need that affection. I won't touch nothing that somebody else done touch. <laughs> Television. You were still having sex with your ex today on Trisha. We're back with Asia and her fiance Lawrence. Also on stage is CJ and his girlfriend Cherie is in the uh, audience there. Uh, they're all here to find out which of these men is the father of Asia's two week old son, Nazaya. Now, Asia desperately hopes it's her fiance Lawrence, and actually, so do I. Me uh, too. I'm with y'all. I'm with y'all. I'm, I'm with y'all, yeah. 100% yeah. with y'all. Yeah, right, power down. I hope it is. Now, um, the claims are that CJ stolen from her. You said got her kicked out of her home, cheated her on her with Cherie, yeah. all of these and sorts of things. So, oh, so in order to get to the truth, we gave both men a DNA test and we gave CJ a lie detector test. So, um, you say you never cheated on Cherie? No. Never? No. No. You don't have girls... That, what do you do for a living? Oh, I just watch cars. You, you watch cars. You don't have a lot of girlfriends around, a lot of women? These women on Facebook? I got a lot of friends. Female, Female friends. friends. Okay. Uh, For real? Cherie, 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 what it is. Just, Cherie, what are you going to do, Cherie, if he fails the lie detector test? Nobody will know, Trisha. I'm sorry to let you know. We both right get getting off this stage, because if he cheating on me with her, or regardless of who the person is, CJ go no. Can I ask you something really honestly before we come to the lie detector test? And CJ, I'm doing this for your own good. The way that CJ has been behaving right now, you, you proud of that? No, I don't know why CJ is doing that. I'm sorry, CJ, you letting them take you out of character. I told you, you act a certain way with Asia, but now we're on national television. Don't come on here and embarrass me. What you and Asia got going on, that's what y'all got going on. Y'all can do that in not on national television. I didn't come all the way to Connecticut Thank you, to be Cherie. on camera and be embarrassed. Don't do that. Not here. Thank not you. today. Oh, why I'm here. Okay. So, not once did I get here, okay, with Asia, do not with Asia. Don't do Here with stuff. CJ's lie detector results is our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. From here, Tim will tell us whether you were telling the truth or not. CJ, we asked you, since you and Cherie have been back together, have you had sexual intercourse with Asia? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that CJ was being truthful. Yeah. <laughs> we asked CJ, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Cherie since you got back together? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that CJ was being truthful. Ooh. We are CJ. Do you want to be the father of Nasaya? And you said no, Tim. The polygraph determined that CJ was being truthful. Now that we've got that cleared up, it's time to find out if CJ is the father to two week old Nasaya. So, Asia or CJ, um, who wants to open the results or should I just do it? You want me to do it? Yeah. Yep. Let me do it. So
So, oh, you want to do it? Why are you applauding for her to do it? I wanted to do it. Oh. Yeah. It ain't mine. She's yours? It ain't mine. Oh, it ain't yours. CJ, okay. don't do that because All right, stand baby's yours. I don't know what it says, sister. I'm praying. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm praying. praying. CJ, when it comes to the baby. Coming up. When it comes to the baby. Oh. But first. Walter won't touch, speak to, or look at Jennifer. We sleep in separate beds. We're like strangers. You don't hold me. I need that affection. I don't want to touch nothing that somebody else doesn't touch. You are still having sex with your ex today on Trisha. <laughs> Welcome, Jennifer. Jennifer is head over heels in love with her fiance, Walter, but sadly, Walter refuses to marry her until she passes a lie detector test. Yeah, you see, Jennifer came home one night with torn pants, and Walter suspects she ripped them while rushing off from another man's bed. Since then, Jennifer says she suffered an onslaught of accusations that are tearing their relationship to pieces. So listen to some of Walter's other suspicions. If my fiance Jennifer doesn't pass her ladder ticket test, I engage in this open. I would not be with a woman who has been with other men. I've been with Jennifer for three years. We got engaged a year ago. I thought she was going to be the one person I was going to spend the rest of my life with. But now, I don't know. I'm so paranoid she's cheating. During the argument, Jennifer told me she was cheating, but tried to take it back later. This brother would not be played by lies. Recently, Jennifer had a miscarriage, and supposedly the baby was mine. I know that baby wasn't mine. It was another man. I don't have sex with Jennifer anymore. I ignore her when she wants to talk, and we sleep in separate bedrooms. I truly believe other men have touched her. I have intuition just like a woman, and my intuition tells me that Jennifer is definitely cheating. Well, wow. There's uh, one more person here. Jennifer's niece, Titi, is backstage, and she hopes today will be the day that Jennifer dumps Walter for good. <laughs> we'll find out why. We will find out why in just a moment. Jennifer, you, you're being accused of what? Day and night of cheating? Yes. Are you in the same bed at the moment? No, we don't even sleep in the same bed. We sleep in separate beds. We're like strangers. Where do I get my e emotional? I don't even get touched by him. If you're not getting attention from him, have you ended up in another man's arms because of that? No, but I did brought one accusation to him once. I was like, well, if you don't touch me, somebody else will. But this was in an argument. And then he took it and said that, well, you doing that, you are cheating. And I was not cheating. I need to okay. be having, I need to be felt. He don't touch me, so I feel like that's a problem. You came home with your pants ripped. What happened? It was ripped because I was getting out of the truck. I come back from getting something to eat. Right. He says, well, what, what happened to your pants? I say it was ripped. He said, no, you was basically cheating, and I knew that I was not cheating. He's been stressing me day and night about it, yeah. and basically, far as my child, I lost my child yeah, because of the stress. Yeah, what happened with that? You were how many months pregnant? I was five months pregnant. Yeah. He felt that it was another man's baby. He was still on at you daily? He was on me daily. Even with the pregnancy he was on me, he was stressing me. I was like, if you don't, we will lose it. He still, it didn't matter to him. He and said, you lost well, the baby? Yes. Was he upset when you lost the baby? Well, he was upset. He was hurt. It was an emotional thing. But still, at the same time, he still said it was another man's child. Oh. Do you want to be with this guy? Yes, I want to be with Walter. Do you I love him? Yes, I do love him. And I am in love with him. And I feel oh. like I do want to see this work. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, Titi, where does she come into this? She do not like him. She hates him. She hates him? Yes. Wow. <laughs> now, I should tell you, last night, Jennifer agreed to take a lie detector test in a desperate move to prove her innocence and win Walter back. But before we get to the results, it's time to meet Walter. So, let's meet Walter. <laughs> Hello. 
Walter, what made you start thinking she was cheating? Was she telling me that she is cheating when we get to arguing by saying that uh, I've been with another man, I'm cheating on you. Why? why because why, he why, doesn't sleep in the same bed? Why would you and you say something like that me? if you don't mean it? Well, I don't. I told you constantly, if you don't give me you the... You almost say what you mean, though. Yes, but I did mean it. I felt like if you don't touch me and you don't give me the feelings whoa, whoa, that I feel whoa, like... Whoa, I hang on just a minute. I, I understood that him not touching you, you not being together was as a result of something. Yes. So I'm just asking, why would you say that in an argument? You, you started all this, did you? He accuses me daily. And what about with the baby? You really didn't think the baby was, was because yours? Because of her, her saying that she was she. If you don't stop this insecurity, this today will stop and it will end. This relationship will be over. <laughs> oh, but, but, are you saying... Just a minute, you were saying that she was pregnant. As the pregnancy went further on, she was saying what? She started saying that she didn't... She, she, she wished she wasn't pregnant. She wanted to get an abortion. What was the reason? What was the reason? What was the reason? Probably because you, it wasn't my child. Every day you tell me, every you day you, abortion. every day you say that I'm cheating. Who wants say sometimes in the argument, oh, I wish that I can be held. You don't hold me. I need that affection. Did she get an opportunity to cheat? When yeah, she not... gets a whole lot of opportunity to cheat what? when I'm at work. When you're, well, how long are you at work for? From two to 12 in life. And why do you feel that I'm cheating because of that? Do you not know? I'm telling you, for you one, takes me for, through enough for stress. One, for one, a person that's accuses a person of cheat, they got to be doing something they sell. So what should it tell you? You're accusing me. No, I you can started say the first, because even when I'm at work, you I better not miss a call when I'm going on my break. Oh. When when you at when you at home, I get three breaks, 15, 30, and, and another 15. If I walk up out there play with that call, it's going to be an argument, or you're going to be up there on my job. What is it telling me, though? Oh, hang on just a minute. You're accusing him of cheating. He's accusing me that one that oh does my. it, that does it. I feel that you're doing it. <laughs> Where did this start? It didn't just come out of the blue. When she finally came back, first, soon, the first thing I noticed, as soon as she come through the door, was a big hole in her pants right here. So I asked, I said, I wasn't loud. I didn't get aggressive. Yeah. I wasn't frowning or nothing. I, uh, I said, baby, what, uh, what happened to your pants, baby? How you get to uh, cut in your pants? Uh. Uh, I snagged it on the car door. What did it has to do with me, you feeling that I'm cheating? Because I snagged my because pants. Because you were trying it's to because... get back in them to hurry no, up and get back to the house in... or somebody snatched oh. them up, pulled them, trying to get you up out of them, snatched you up out of them. Now, tell me about T.T. Tell me about her, her niece, T.T. How do you and T.T. Oh, get on? She ain't even got no life for herself. No. She in a friend and I relationship, but she can't... You don't like her? We I, I don't, don't get along. I don't deal with the woman. You know, so what is So she... I need her to be talk. I need to talk to her. I need to tell her things because I have feelings that I want to express. Do you tell her all about your yes, relationship? Yes, I tell her everything and he don't like it. That's why. Okay, if you if, if, if you'll come talk to me, maybe I have a better understanding. How can I? How can you, you have understanding in something to and you, you can't have to understand me. it in your woman you and go, to know you that to I'm not cheating? But let me you ask you, do, do you touch her? Do you hug her? Touch me? Do I don't even I get that. somebody else been touching my baby. I don't want to touch nothing that somebody else done touch. So you don't touch her at all? No. Why, 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 why should I? Do you hug her? Uh, it's, it's he like, don't even give like, me eye contact. We, I'm, I'm, I done started sleeping in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do if she fails the lie detector test? I don't. You're I'm gone. gone. I'm gone. What if you? I'm gonna move on because I feel like if I keep on sitting, I'm it's... waiting to be walked out on. Ah. Oh, so you think if you don't walk first, she'll walk on you? We might as well walk ourselves. Okay. Split ourselves. All right. Well, we've got to take a break. We've got to take a break. But next, Jennifer's niece Titi is here to tell Walter exactly what she thinks of his accusations. And the lie detector test results are in, so stay tuned. <laughs> next. Yes, I hate you. I hate wow. every bit well, of how you. Can, how can you hate every somebody that you, you don't even know? Later. When it comes to the baby. Oh. You are the fire. You're the fire. Truth Television. You were still having sex with your ex today on Trisha. Okay, where?
we're talking with Walter here, who's uh, he's here to find out if his future bride, Jennifer, sitting across from him, has been faithful, or if his suspicions that she's been sleeping with, what, just about every guy going, are true. <laughs> now, Walter's so convinced that Jennifer is a cheater, he refuses to touch her, to speak to her. In fact, he won't even look her in the eye until he gets that lie detector test result in his hand. Now, before we get to them, Jennifer's niece, Titi, is here to defend her aunt. So, uh, we heard that she's not too keen on you, uh, Walter. We'll find out why now. Let's meet Titi. <laughs> you are such a liar. A liar. For accusing my auntie of cheating. First of all, let's get this straight. You get she tells me everything. You try to control it. Don't control it. Everything. 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 You ain't got First of all, let me get this straight to you. You, ain't got you are to her husband. I'm house. her blood. And yes, I hate you. I hate wow. every bit of how you. Can, how can you hate every somebody that you, you don't even know? Exactly. So how, how can, can you accuse? How can you know? hate me and you don't know me? I don't know you. I ain't of never hate you. you. never I gave never me a chance to, to get to know Period. me. Did I ain't you? never said nothing to you. Did you? Have a Did seat. You? Have a seat. Do you think your aunt is cheating? No, she's not. Why does he think she is? I feel like he's obsessive. Obsessed? Obsessed. With what? The fact of the matter that me and her are close. We talk oh, about everything. She confides in me. Jealous, you mean? Yes. What? You jealous? Of, it seems like you jealous of no, her relationship. No, I am not what, jealous what, of her. Man, I am not please. jealous of her. How, how is your relationship? You, how you gonna dictate what goes on with our relationship and you ain't even got nothing going all, yourself? I have a lot of things going. Let you me explain break down this to, to you. What's going Let on me with explain your this to you, but sweetheart. You can't tell what, Let me explain this to you, sweetheart. I don't need you to dictate anything so that I'm goes on with my, about my relationship. Life. Like I said, she's my aunt. Okay. Please. All right. So, do you think you don't think your aunt is cheating? So, why would one I know be... for a fact she's not? How do you know for a fact? Because she's around me. We're around each other the whole time. Yes. And how do you feel about her miscarriage? Her miscarriage. I was pissed off at that. We did talk about it. Yeah. She confided in me to go with her and find out the situation. No, I did not like it. I even told him. Oh. The what, same day. What did you tell him? I told him I said that I think it's wrong for her to do that. To go straight and to Yes, I did. What? To do and what? To go do what? To not go and talk. abort her right. child. She talked to me through it and told me not to. So I right, listened. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you saying... See that? No, yeah. see that they done told on itself. So, now the truth come out. I know. So... You wanted to get an abortion. Yes, I wanted to get so rid of it. Who, who I have my reason. It wasn't mine. It, it was yours. First you wanted to keep I, the baby. You stress me daily. Every day you stress me. So yes, I did want to get rid of it. But then I changed my mind because I felt like that I did believe in this relationship. So you That's talked the case her out of it. it. I talked. She her talked out. me out of it. So if she hadn't have told you to keep the baby, would you have gone ahead? and I had... believe that I would have. You would have aborted the baby. I would have got rid of it because the Why? stress. Because it wasn't mine. No, because, because of the it wasn't stress. The stress that you was taking That's me why through. That's why you won't get rid of the child. Using mine? that you say every That's the only day. Reason why you no, it's got not. Rid of the baby because no, it wasn't not. mine. It was yours. So, do you think they should even be together? No. Why not? Because, first of all, it's stress. Do you think your aunt can do better? Probably could. But I do want to be with Walter. Well, there you go. What are you going to do about that? I do want she to be with She wants to be with Walter. Walter. Oh, oh well, like fine. That's fine. But this will be the last straw that I determine okay, this. The, the, For me to go through this, the lie detector test will determine, and it's time to get to the lie detector test. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so here with Jennifer's lie detector results is our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. I don't know anything. I'm just reading from this envelope, uh, from the uh, notes here. I'll read what we asked you, um, what you said, and Tim will tell us if you were telling the truth or not. So, Jennifer's lie detector results. Jennifer, we asked, do you know for sure if Walter was the father of the baby you lost? You said yes. Tim? Next. Have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Now, this him? is the key, and you better get this proven. There's an admission. Oh. You were still having no, sex. No, I was not. Oh, he know Lord. I do not have sex. Later. When it comes to the baby. Oh.
television. You were still having sex with your ex today on Trisha. If my fiance Jennifer doesn't pass her ladder ticket test, our engagement is over. During the argument, Jennifer told me she was cheating, but tried to take it back later. This brother would not be played by lies. Recently, Jennifer had a miscarriage, and supposedly the baby was mine. I know that baby wasn't mine. It was another man. Have you ended up in another man's arms because of that? No, but I did brought one accusation to him once. I was like, well, if you don't touch me, somebody else will. But this was in an argument. Do you touch her? Do you hug her? Touch me? Do I don't even I get that. Somebody else been touching my baby. I don't want to touch nothing that somebody else done touch. I'll read what we asked you. Um, what you said, and Tim will tell us if you were telling the truth or not. So, Jennifer's lie detector results. Jennifer, we asked, do you know for sure if Walter was the father of the baby you lost? You said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jennifer was being truthful. Now what? Now what? I need an apology from you. Hey, you took right. me through hell. Now what? All right, have now a seat. What? Let's keep going. We asked Jennifer, the day you came home wearing the ripped pants, did you have sexual intercourse with someone other than Walter? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jennifer was being truthful. You got some making up to do. You got some making up to do. We are. You got some making up to do. Do you want to marry Walter? Jennifer said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Jennifer was being truthful. While in a relationship with Walter, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Now, this him? is the key, and you finna, you finna get this proven. There's an admission. Oh. <laughs> what you gotta say? Uh, hold up. Yeah. What do, what do um, well, you didn't say yes or no, say? Tim? Look. What you gotta hey, say? Hey, let's hear it. Hold up. Well, hold up. This was the original format of the question. During a pretest, while going over the questions with Jennifer, she danced around the question for about 15 minutes, and I finally said, Jennifer, hang on, hang on. Uh -huh. let me hear. the time period that we're covering is the whole it's three October years. October of last year. She said to me, no, we can only go up to October of last year. Right. Why? That's what me and him was speak. Because basically, the he was last... split up and you went with someone else. Is that right? No, in October, that was when me and him got serious, and I did not, only for one thing that he knew that I was, that I did do, Which that was... I kissed. I kissed a man. No. It said sexually. Sexual intercourse. Don't say nothing about no kiss. So Tim, hang on. Let, let me hear from the Tim. Question was, the whoa, whoa, whoa. No the question was sexual intercourse during the relationship. She told me she could not answer that question unless I only went back to October right, of last, last year. Last year, because I was okay. coming out of Sexual intercourse. Let me say this because it is what it is. Before of October of last year. <laughs> I can't do this. Hey, 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 Walter, Walter, come, come on. You, you came and asked for a lie detector. I can't do this. I have to take it over. No. I can't do this because it's a lie, because I don't cheat. I'm done right now because it's a lie. I know that I didn't cheat. Hang on. What do you mean? I did not cheat at all. Hey. Point blank. I want you to listen. I would like you to listen for a moment. You were being sexually active. You wanted to finish it with your ex, and it finished in the October. Am I right? No, it did not. Why did you not want to answer the question? Uh, why did you ask him only up until he October? He said because he kept saying to me, Jennifer, for the past three years, he was basically trying to help me to understand what he was saying to me. He said, in the past three years, Jennifer, have you? And I said, no, it needs to be cut off from October. Why? That's when it started to get serious with me and Walter. Yes, so you were still sexually active I was with the not... other guy when you weren't serious with Walter. The last time that I was sexually active with my ex probably was June, ju probably in... July. So why choose October? That's when me and Walter was face to face. Hey, listen, can I just say something? There's a lot of muddling around this, and that's what's causing the confusion and the doubt. The other what thing is... What I need to take the it other, over then. No. What you need to do is be honest. If you say in an argument, yeah. however angry, oh, well, I might as well go off with another guy, or I might as well sleep with a guy, another guy, uh, uh, guess what? Here's the result. I'm being honest. That's... that's yeah. If I slept with another guy, the baby wouldn't even be his. We know I don't cheat. No, Whenever this is done, no. however that the lie detector test has said stop. it, it
cheat. I do not cheat. Okay. And however you keep he shouting. How, okay, however that this man back here tried to say it, because he was bas basically asking oh, me something so over and over like again. No, 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 no. Hold no. up. He's, she Just asked me, minute. why did I start in October? Why, 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 October? why did we start in October? Because that's when we really got serious. So that's not what we were asking. So were you sexually active before October? Yes, he knew it, though. With oh, my yes. So you were still having no, sex. No, I was not. Oh, he know I do not have sex. <laughs> would not be yours. He I'll keep her talking. You run. <laughs> Seriously. Titi, <laughs> Titi, I know you're close to your aunt, but you hear what's going on here when you start playing these games with words? It messes with people's emotions. What do you want to do? You love her? Yeah, I love her. You love her? Yeah. She needs to be honest and say, you know what? I was with my ex. We were going through it. There was a bit of an overlap, but from October, I decided you were the only one. And that's all she needs to say. I don't know why it's so difficult. I know you want to save your relationship. The only thing that's going to save the relationship is honesty. And from now on, the honesty has to be on Jennifer's part about that beginning of the relationship. She thought you knew about it. Clearly, you didn't know about it. Good luck, my man. Yeah. OK, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Next. The DNA will prove if the father of her baby is her fiance or her ex. When it comes to the baby, oh. You are the father. You're up on stage. You are still having sex with your ex today on Trisha. I need to find out who the father of my son Nasiah is. I hope and pray it's not my ex-boyfriend, CJ. I want it to be my fiance, Norris. When it comes to CJ, I don't want him in our lives, even if he is the baby's father. You a little but ass you boy! just sending your naked pictures on Facebook! You? you seem to believe that they, this little boy could be yours. It might be. He. It he. might be. Who wants to open the results, or should I just do it? Yeah. You want me to do it? Yeah. yeah. Let me do it. So. Oh, you want to do it? Why are you applauding for her to do it? I wanted to do it. Oh. Yeah. It ain't mine. She's yours? It ain't mine. Oh, it ain't yours. CJ, okay. don't do that, because All right, stand baby's yours. I don't know what it says, so stand up. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm praying. CJ, when it comes to the baby, oh, CJ, the DNA the test determined that Nasai is not your son. Hooray! this segment, Norrance's DNA results had not been delivered from the DNA centre. Now, the three of us will go backstage and together we'll wait for those results and open them together. Um, yep, that's the way it is. We'll be back after this. I don't know what's in here, so the DNA results. Let's see if that little boy is, is yours or not, Norrance. Who wants to open it? You want to open it? So I don't know what it says. What does it say? Nasiah is your son. So, Norrance, is that, is that a relief? So you know what you're gonna have to teach that little boy and you yeah, being... <laughs> yeah, and to be strong and, yeah. Congratulations. 
television. You are still having sex with your ex today on Trisha. I want to thank you at home for watching. It's been quite a show, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, come join us tomorrow because we'll have more truth then. See you then.